Here at home, this Highland Park resident is getting some attention today. She is the first to benefit from a new grant that's giving senior citizens a pretty big boost. It's going to make their lives a little easier, making them more independent, and then will have ripple effects for the entire neighborhood. Paula Tutman is live in Highland Park this afternoon. And Paula, this started with a pretty simple idea. Yeah, it really did. And that ripple idea, that's the thing, because consider that in Highland Park, there is a cocktail of circumstances that have led to decline and decay. When auto manufacturing left in the 50s, it took the money and the jobs, but left these really big houses. Now you have older holdouts. We're talking about diehard Highland Parkers who have stayed here hanging on by their splintering fingernails, but they didn't necessarily have the money to keep their houses up. But now some big steps are being taken to give them a hand. Where you see the dark gray, that's where they filled in that was gapped. Birds were building nests in the pillars because they had gaps. Barbara Perry loves her home, but simply didn't have the funds for the upkeep. And it meant her front porch became her enemy. I had gaps and crumblings and the bricks. This was all shattered. How does concrete look like oatmeal? But that was all gone. The Wayne County Land Bank knows there are a lot of barbers in Highland Park. Older people on fixed incomes with no financial means to stop the decay of their very large, much older homes. Now, if they leave, decay wins. If they stay, and like I said, it, this whole thing is all new. Decay can very possibly be staved off and perhaps even reversed. Hello. Hello. And so with grant monies, with the help of the Michigan State Housing and Development Agency and partners like Flagstar Bank, the land bank decided to start with porches. This is a program that benefits Highland Park seniors. Um, we really wanted to target group, uh, a group that's been here for a long time and is often saved up and plan for old age, but then the economy happened. Imagine Barbara's surprise when she found out there was a program to repair her porch, the Senior Porch Project, at no cost to her. Barbara Perry is our first recipient of a porch program. And I'm so happy about that. Today, a small celebration. <laughs> um, the work on the very first porch is complete. Confidence that I, nothing is going to fall on me, and I'm not going to fall on it, but uh, confidence that it's, it's not crumbling. The Wayne County Land Bank has money for as many as 10 porches, perhaps more. They also have funds for ramps so that older people in Highland Park won't be held hostage by their crumbling porches. Because when these homeowners stay in the long run, it helps preserve the entire community. Baby steps. Almost literally baby steps start here. They're also your first eyes of defense on security. So if you're sitting on your porch, then you know what's going on on your block. So it's not only that, it also helps keep your neighborhood safer. So, so here's the thing. This is what's so interesting is Barbara had no idea that there was even this program available. She just happened to go to City Hall, inquire, and they said, hey, we've got grant money. Hey, folks, grant money is there. Apply for it. See if you're eligible. They do have some applications already in for the porches. They've got some work that's going to start, but guess what? They don't have any applications for those ramps. They have money for ramps to get seniors in and out of their homes. Go to Highland Park City Hall. Inquire. There's money to help you. All right, we appreciate it. Wonderful story. Thank you so much, Paula.